question where and what happened to give you the trigger for Sumat? To be honest, like I didn't consciously ever planned uh, to go into the art field, but it happened. After moving to Singapore, I started trying myself watercolors, whatever background I had. And uh, I liked when those colors used to manifest on the paper. And those watercolors used to blend and dance. And uh, so when they, the picture used to be complete on the paper, it used to give a sense of wholeness maybe. And then I felt motivated to do more and more. And I continued with watercolors um, and flowers. So, Anka, you're telling me that you're transitioning from watercolor to acrylic, right? Yeah. So, what changes do you see in yourself as an artist happening with that transition? And watercolor is a very unforgiving medium. Uh, you have to be quick, you have to be fast. Uh, it's not a possibility to go back and correct it again. Um, when I moved to acrylic, so although acrylic also dries fast, but still I had the freedom to go back and rework on it. So that uh, encouraged me to incorporate different techniques, different styles in my artwork. Um, I still stuck to flowers, I'm still painting flowers, but gradually some divinity or some aspects of different geometrical shapes, uh, they are coming in. And I'm trying to incorporate along with flowers, flowers is my passion, so they will stay, um, different forms geometric forms, be it triangles, squares, circles, um, along with human figures. I'm experimenting and learning as I'm going along the way. So, and you also do writing, creative writing. Mm -hmm. You write poems. Yeah. Right. So this creative side of you, does it manifest on canvas also? Over the years, somewhere it started coming out. And it took me a while to realize, like I have been painting and writing. It didn't sink in um, very early, but I realized that I have been writing too many things and I have been painting without any conscious realization of that. So what I have been writing, it's coming out in my art as well. I am a very simple painter and not skilled, not good with techniques since I write and paint both. So to balance and which takes priority over what, that also comes in the picture often. You said you're a new self-founder into this world, right? Do you see yourself taking this and involving yourself? becoming a full-time artist. Once in a while I did, when my mind takes over, I did think like to do this, do that. But I realized if I go with the flow, let it take me where it wants to take me, over me directing, trying to direct the flow. But that doesn't mean that I need not make any effort or I don't need to take any step from my side. So, how do you find yourself in this art community here in Singapore? How's it feeling? In Singapore, the art world is quite alive, structured, and it is a part of the culture of Singapore, where it is being given its due place. Um, there are different art galleries here, so many artists, who paint the cityscape or the environment around or even the global um, art uh, is quite happening and here. Like when for a change, like after the Tista Art Gallery, um, I saw Nani Arts um, 
display at the, it was a full room, um, at the Bank Art Fair. So I likely got connected there and Nana sir has been kind to encourage all sorts and genres or levels of artists to be a part of the gallery. Um, this shows somewhere like a true artist doesn't even always go after perfection or something that's outstanding. Because art doesn't need any name or recognition or achievement. That is very insignificant compared to the process that leads to that artwork or creation. Anything that you would like to add on about yourself? I was born in a fragmented universe. I tried to put it back together piece by piece. I did not know it then. In my effort or longing to fill in the um, remaining pieces that I could not find, I was creating art. Um, you got it, now. Nice. I repeat this one, otherwise I no, said something. It is, it is so nice. It's See, I didn't, I didn't even know it that I would be doing it. But okay, those lost parts that I'm not able to fit in back still. So somewhere it is making me complete or whole while doing this. Very beautiful. It healed me. Actually, it he it is still healing me um, because it art gave me a different perspective about myself in my understanding who I am. So wonderful talking to you, Anka. Thank you so much for sharing with us your insights uh, about your experiences. Okay, so anything else that you want to say? Yeah, I'd like to first thank you, and I will also like to thank Nyani Arts for this wonderful, wonderful opportunity to artists who are trying to find themselves and create a space for themselves uh, in the art world. Thank you, Akka. You're an amazing person.